Okay. Let's look at this next question. Suppose I gave you the function f of x equals 2x minus 7, and I also gave you the function g of x equals the square root of x plus 5. <clears throat> and I asked you to evaluate f composed with g of 7. Now let's remember how to do composition. f composed with g of 7. We need to set up a little road map here. When you're doing composition of functions, this input, 7, starts off, starts off by going into the function it's closest to. So we're going to take 7 and put it into the function g. And then after we get that answer, we're going to plug that into the function f. So basically, we've set up a little road map for success here. This tells us how to approach the problem. Now, we're not even looking at function f yet. We're looking at function g. And we're finding g of 7. So I go up to the function g of x, which is the square root of x plus 5, but I replace x with 7. This becomes the square root of 7 plus 5. So we end up getting f of the square root of 12. Now, before we go any further, I always teach my students simplify um, square roots at every step in the process. So you know that the square root of 12 can be broken apart. Let's go here off to the side. The square root of 12 actually can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is 2 radical 3. So, I'm finding f of 2 radical 3, which means I now go to function f and I plug in 2 radical 3. Function f tells me which is a linear function, tells me to take 2 times the input minus 7. So in this case, we would take 2 times the input, which is 2 radical 3 minus 7. And 2 times 2 radical 3 would become 4 radical 3. And then we have the minus 7 at the end. Therefore, 4 radical 3 minus 7 is our final answer.